Accidentally, every day, tens of thousands of sharks are caught in commercial fisheries. They're caught in nets, they're caught on hooks, they're caught in trawls. And our research here at Seton Hall is looking at ways that we can prevent this from happening and improve our methods of fishing and save the lives of these sharks. Back in 2001, I set out to find a chemical shark repellent. And my first step was folklore. Fishermen said that dead and decaying sharks would rid an area of sharks for days at a time. So my starting point is what is in that dead and decaying shark? How can we isolate it and turn it into a product? In 2003, I started a company called Shark Defense. We bottled, basically, the extractions from rotten sharks and we sold this to fishermen. The problem is, though, we still had to use sharks to make it. I still did not know why it worked and what was in it, and that's why I needed to come back to school. I enrolled in the PhD program in chemistry at Seton Hall, mostly because this is the only school in New Jersey that offers a part-time PhD program in chemistry, and that fit my schedule very well of trying to run a business. My first class at Seton Hall was theoretical physical organic chemistry with Dr. James Hansen. I really enjoyed the way he taught. I saw the expertise in his field, and I realized probably at that first class, this is the man I want to work with. When he came to me uh, asking me to be his research mentor and advisor, I was excited to be part of the project. The shark repellent is a very complex substance. We first need to isolate uh, different components of it, then we are going to need to analyze those. Finally, once we know what we have and what we need to work with, we will synthesize those using the techniques of modern organic chemistry. Looking into the shark repellent is detective work into what Mother Nature has given us. We're trying to find out what are the magic ingredients, really. If it is chicken soup, how many carrots are in it, how many celeries are in it, how much broth is in it, and in what concentration and in what balance are all these ingredients. We have to figure that out. Once we be able to make the compounds, we will then have to put them into a delivery system, some kind of plastic that allows them to be released slowly into the ocean. But I have a lot of hope that we'll be able to work these things out. I'm proud that working together with Eric, working at Seton Hall, we are going to do something that produces a really lasting benefit for the planet. We set out to protect people from sharks, and the irony is we're saving sharks, and I'm really glad that this research is going on at Seton Hall.